Hi students, welcome to today's class. Hope all of you are doing well. In the previous class, we discussed about the contributions of Vaikunda Swamigal and Chattambi Swamigal for the social reformation of Kerala society. Let's continue this chapter. Enlightenment through education. One caste, one religion, one god for man. Whatever be the religion, men should be good. Be enlightened with education, be strengthened with organization. People may be different in their clothing, language and religion, but all belong to one caste, humanity. Hence, there is no harm in having marital relation with one another or in dining together. These quotes shows the major perspectives of Sri Narayana Guru who was a social reformer in Kerala. Elimination of the caste system was the primary aim of Guru's social activities. He toiled for communal harmony. He organized an all-religion conference at Alua and at the main entrance of the venue he wrote this. This conference is not to argue and win, but to know and inform. The declaration of Guru that the caste of humanity is being humane created new waves in the society. His aim was to mold the society into a civilized one. He knew that the upward social mobility of the depressed classes could not be attained through the propagation of ideology alone. So, he devised practical ways for social change through poverty alleviation programs. He suggested setting up of industries for providing employment for people. He created awareness against the evil customs like Pulikudi, Tirandu Kalyanam and Thalikittu Kalyanam and advised people to lead a simple life by giving up extravagance and luxury. The Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Yogam was founded in 1903 to propagate the teachings of Guru. Sri Narayana Guru was born at Champarandi in Tiruvanandapuram. His major works are Atmobadesha Shatagam, Darshanamala and Deva Dashagam. The contributions of Guru in the field of social renaissance won the appreciation of Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore. The consecrations means Pradishtas carried out by Sri Narayana Guru shook the foundations of the caste system. The Shivalinga Pradishta at Arvipuram, the Deva Pradishta at Karamuk Temple and the Sharada Pradishta at Shivagiri were prominent among them. The last consecration by Guru was at Kalaman Kodam in Alapura district where the Pratishta was a mirror in which Om was inscribed. He gave equal importance to schools and temples and said, Now people need the establishment of schools, not temples. Schools should be the main places of worship. Students, today we discussed about the contributions of Sri Narayana Guru for the social reformation of Kerala society. I hope all of you understood today's section. We'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter. Thank you.